market sentiment is evolving and people are starting to get more and more optimistic. They are all talking about the next big move. The market is also showing you the possibility of that coming in with Bitcoin slowly moving up, reaching that $30,000 mark again. It kind of revives the market. We understand what's happening. We kind of get the idea of why these assets are starting to move higher, why the market is getting more liquidity, and that matters. That matters a lot, because if you are positioned for this, then yes, you are positioned for this as well. Because if you don't understand the short-term move, that's where you'll get confused. Short-term, you're watching a lot of these assets trying to break higher. Historically speaking, when RSI retest, that's the buying opportunity. So that would be a buying sector here. See, you can actually look at this entire zone and say that's going to be the buying area. Buyers would like to come in there when we are going back to retest and a bounce is going to be the great case. If we follow the recent past, it is going to bring in some more buyers. Remember, buyers didn't actually come when you broke higher. They entered massively when you retested with a double bottom and started to bounce off. So that is going to be something interesting in these assets as you watch them. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor family, where the normal retail guys get learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world. Right now, we are going to see a lot of opportunity. The way I'm looking at this, you're now watching Bitcoin slowing down. It is showing you a divergence. That's a negative divergence on a four hour chart. It's not on a daily, not on a three day, so not going to be a big one. It's going to be a short term one, a micro move. But the dominance kind of shows you, okay, in the same horizon, that micro move, you may actually see more money moving into altcoins. So you are going to watch a lot of these altcoins starting to run higher. You're already watching some of them doing like, you know, 20, 30, 40 percent moves on last 24 hours. We are actually watching the market moving. We are actually watching the market reviving itself. Why? Because this is actually something interesting. As you see the price moved higher, stayed there and made a bull flag. It's 200 days of consolidation and reaccumulation phase. So as you break through that range, you will watch price hitting the $37,000, $36,000 mark, which is a first resistance, then around $45,000, $47,000, then around $60,000. So from here, you're talking about a 100% move just in Bitcoin. Because when you actually go in to the RSI to ask that question like, okay, um, do we have something like that here? You'll actually understand the fact that, okay, you got this double bottom here. You broke higher. You came back down. You retested that range. Now you're trying to bounce off. Remember what we just talked about using the XLM chart? Retest and a bounce in the RSI usually brings in more and more momentum with a lot of new volume as well. So for sure, you'll have to break this into shorter horizon charts to better understand this. Because when you actually go into it, it's not just the price is going up. It's the way it is going up. See, this is a three-day chart. If you actually follow the three-day chart here, you'll understand the fact that, okay, this was the resistance here. You just broke that to the upside. Now, on a three-day chart, you want to see a retest and a bounce. I think that's what's going to bring in actual momentum here. And this short-term correction we just talked about, I think that's what's coming here. That means we may actually come back down to 29, 28, uh, 500, that zone. But still, when it's going to bounce, you're going to see a lot of price action. You're going to see a lot of media attention coming into this side. Yes, we are watching some of these assets popping. You know, we had these calls before and we are watching like, you know, they are actually popping off. The market is doing that right now. So if you are looking for that kind of opportunity, for sure, I would suggest look at the Patreon the link is in the description below. It can actually support your endeavor to find the right assets for you. Now, when you actually look at XRP, this is a short to medium term view which we are looking at. First thing we want to watch here is this trend line should be reclaimed. 
And it depends how quickly we can do that because last time, yes, we had somewhat similar pattern. If you actually look at this and then measure the number of days taken for that event to actually unveil, it took somewhere around 42 days. So this time it's already somewhere close to 60 days. So the upside momentum as it comes, it should be much more. We want to see a higher momentum coming into the price action because that supports what we are talking about. Because see, when you actually zoom in, you go onto our daily chart for XRP. This is what you actually see here. The price action is making a double bottom here, bouncing back up. It's trying to make a bull flag. Say you go on a four hour chart, this is what you see. Because when you actually go back into Bitcoin, say you go on a daily chart, you go on a four hour chart, you'll actually see this. This is the first double bottom segment and then the pop up here. After that pop, you made a bull flag. Notice this correctly because there's something which we called out in the group saying, okay, we are making a double bottom, we should pop and we did, right? We went all the way to 30,000. Then you made a bull flag which is good. And then again, you went for the next leg to the upside where you are now developing a divergence, agreed. Now, take this range and look at what XRP is doing now. I'm like, okay, that looks a lot familiar for me because what we just talked about there makes a lot of sense. You got a double bottom pattern, which broke to the upside. Now you're actually making this pattern, which is a bull flag. So you watching this can actually get a break to the upside. now. We want to actually see what these uh, higher time frame structure is showing us. There's a 12 hour chart, which is also suggesting a same thing, which is showing you we had the double bottom, we bursted to the upside. We are now testing this range of resistance. So if you go on a daily, it will actually reinforce the information because we had this and we were really diligent to understand, are we holding on to this trend line? Because if we are holding on to this trend line and bouncing higher, now we want to actually see, are we meeting all these resistance? This is the trend line. Do we have upside? Yeah, we do. And whenever we, we have seen the strength increasing on a daily towards 70 plus, that has actually brought in some momentum. Now, when that daily pushes the RSI to the 70 range, we want to see where the three day is. Then the weekly is. That's where you get the biggest advantage, meaning, on the three day, you're watching the double bottom coming in. Last time you got that double bottom, it was a little bit slow before it actually moved up. Uh huh. Then again, another double bottom here before the momentum came in. So we want to actually make sure as you see this break, you get some momentum. That means here on a three day chart, you're actually watching for this to break to the upside and more or less, we would actually say most likely we are actually going to look for somewhat like $1.8 to $2 range as the first move. Now, on a three day chart, that's what we want to see. Say you go on a weekly chart, this actually gives you a little bit more uh, sensitivity here. I would actually say like, okay, we do have a lot of volatility, which uh, is you know, normal in crypto. It's not something new for all of us, but while we understand the fact that we want massive upside in this asset, we are now looking at what's the reality. We all understand that the upside is enormous, the pattern, the formation, whatever analysis we have done, till this moment, we understand that's all valid till now. You have not yet observed uh, invalidation of that structure. Now I would say this would be much better. It will actually show you what we are doing there. Now, that's something interesting. Now you broke higher, you're trying to break through and you're waiting for momentum to enter. Historically speaking, we have seen these kind of impulse coming back down and making that double bottom as a critical factor before something huge. Now, it doesn't actually look or it won't look that huge when we are going up because the first move is not a 100x move. It's going to be a 10x move. So those guys who want to see a $100 XRP right now would be unhappy for sure. But you as an investor in the market looking at a $6 to $7 XRP should be happy. I would say that because after that, 
Now, on a short-term chart, you'll get divergence here. If you want to take profits, it would be the best time because after that, the price is going to drop 60, 70% for sure. And then you'll actually see another 10, 15 X move. So if you have units and you're taking profits, some of your units will actually get a 10 X move. Another will get 15 X move, but a lot of it will actually get an 80 X move. Now this is based on this example. If we do something similar, that means you're most likely going to get a huge part of your portfolio getting these 70, 80 X and still, for the worst case scenario, you do take profits when it actually pops this 10, 15 X. But it's not just that 10, 15 X which matters. When you actually dive into each of those, you will actually make sure, okay, what did the price show you just before it started dropping? That kind of gives you an advantage in the market to take your profits on the right time. See, you'll have to zoom in because this is, if it's profit taking, now you want to actually understand how that scenario unveiled. Maybe it's you'll have to go on a four hour chart, play with it and understand what it shows. But when you add in indicators, you'll actually see that the price action started showing you that weakness was already there. First level here shows you the price went up, the RSI came down. Now that's a four hour chart, so the accuracy will be lower, but your factor of safety is higher. If you want to be like, no, 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 Danny, I, I want a little bit more accurate uh, exits when I'm actually averaging up. Great, I agree on that point. If you are that particular individual, then you go on a 12 hour chart. You wanna get some more volatility, but not like that we uh, usually watch on a daily. Here you get the divergence at this point, which for me is kind of accurate, kind of accurate. You kind of got that saying, okay, get out, take profits. Now. Before that, this is the area where there is a lot of concern because the volatility, now back then the liquidity was too low. We're talking about 2017, first pop. You didn't have a lot of volume coming in at that time. It was just the first volume incoming and popping. So at that point, you do need to go back into a four hour chart. If we do, now, right now we have a lot of volume in XRP Ledger. So when the price actually pops, it won't be a bigger concern here. But I would actually put this narrative there so that you guys actually understand it better. Where did the divergence come in? On a four hour chart, it shows the divergence actually came in here. That was a right exit, which is, uh, you know, uh, the, I don't think there's gonna be an argument there. Now this is what we actually do in the SI family. We regularly follow up every asset which you guys actually trade so that you know when there is a negative divergence, when there is a bullish divergence coming in. Because when you're taking profits, that becomes super important. You need to know that you're not taking it too early and you're not putting it off without taking profits because we all know what happened in 2021. You don't want to repeat that here. This is the wave two where the price action is actually going to take off. And that means you should be able to take the profits. Now, some of the key factors which you can look here is like where you see this breaking. Maybe in a month, maybe in three months. I don't know when, how much time it's going to take. But when the price actually comes to this range, you need to ask that question to yourself. Are we going to break it right away? Or is that the first impulse? Like this, a 10x move. Maybe 15, maybe 20. I don't know. But at that point, if the price action is going to slow down, you need to think taking profits. You need to be clear on that event. Now, that's going to be the first level of resistance on a weekly. RSI reaching around 70 is going to be a resistance for sure. Now, if you actually see something like that happening, now the question is how high should the RSI actually go? Usually when the RSI is above 55, usually they say 50, but here for XRP, it's 55. When you're above that range, that's where the bullish scenarios unveil. That's where you see big candles popping through. On a weekly basis, you know, if you actually see XRP doing something like that on a weekly, a 50% run, a 100% run, these are going to be a basic indicator like, okay, you missed the boat. But if you're already in, your backs are packed, now you're like, I don't care, you know, I'm riding this way. I'm thinking about taking profits. I want to see if that pop comes with the divergence, if there is whales moving out of this particular project, because if not, you're not concerned. 
you are riding that wave to the upside. You don't care. Because when you actually go back into this, we understand the fact that, okay, these payment assets, let it be XRP, XLM, let it be XDC, whichever assets you have in your portfolio, you need to actually understand there is going to be a time to take profits. There is going to be a time to ride the wave. If you are positioned well enough, then you actually have a better understanding. You can actually know like, okay, what's happening here? The price is about to move higher. Okay, there is going to be a breakout. There is going to be a retest. Then the bounce comes. You know where the trend lines are. So you're not actually anticipating a direct pop. Why? Because when you actually zoom in, what do you see? Now, we did highlight this fact as we were getting this divergence here. Price was going up, but a lot of big guys were moving out. Once you understand that as a key factor, you're like, okay, I, I understand that. Now you're watching something different. Price is moving down. Someone big is slowly entering. Not the big bump here, but it's still good. Say the big one shows something like this. The price is dropping hard, but the RSI is moving up big time. Those are like big guys. These are like the whales entering. Yeah, I would say it's the sharks entering. Still, that shows you a breakout here means you are going to see these assets moving up. Remember, last time this started in July 15th, we continued that until August. So it was just 20 days of run up. This is something key. If you are here in the market, when the pump starts, it usually is 21 to 28 days in XRP. We're watching 20 days in XDC. Few of these assets are going to pop like crazy and you may have little time to take the profit. So you need to understand where the divergence is coming in and where you should be taking profit. This is easy. You can actually follow this on a short term macro, whichever you're following, depending on, you know, how a fast of a trader you are. Are you following a four hour chart? Are you following an hourly chart? Are you a daily guy? Are you a weekly guy? So depending upon your horizon, this changes, but you get the idea of what to look for. That's what we do. We want to make sure this time you guys are taking profits. That's going to be mandatory. We know the economy outside is complete rubbish. We know that the CBDC era is here. So the technology and the adoption is going to push things to the upside. You're going to see the economy boiling down and you'll have massive opportunity if you take the profits here at the right time to buy the right assets. Now, I'm going to do a lot of different things for sure. Uh, we planned a lot of different stuff. As we take the profits, what should we do? Which assets should we actually allocate that to? All of those. I'm discussing that with you guys on the one-on-one -on -one sessions, depending on which geographical region you, ha you are in, what exchanges do you have access to, what are the possible institutions where you can actually use. Some of them do get gold back cards. You're holding in gold, you're spending in dollars, so you still have the purchasing power. There are a lot of different options available. When you take profit, if you want to invest in what items give you uh, income tax free cash flows, right? So these are the steps we are going through. So if you want to get a taste of that, you can actually go here and start that one-on-one -on -one session. Now, if you receive value, please do smash that like button for me. I'm watching a lot of people compared to the views are smashing or obliterating that like button. I'm really, really thankful for all of you guys. I'm like, you know, two people there, two people here, and again, two. So it's like, whether they have watched it or not, they're still disliking it. Uh, I mean, we, we are all human beings, right? Human beings have different thought process. But anyway, thank you for being here. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.